Good afternoon, Trailblazers. This is Julian Canlas with the Vanguard TV. As the school year comes to an end, final exams are taking place. Annie Lamas has the story on student stress. 300 million people have depression, 40 million have anxiety, and according to the World Health Organization, about half of mental disorders begin before the age of 14. We as a generation experience high stress levels like never before. We spoke to Lebanon Trail students for their personal take on this rising epidemic. The more stressed I get, the more frequent my anxiety attacks become, and then the more unorganized I become. So stress affects me both positively and negatively. Um, positively, it kind of pushes me to kind of organize myself and kind of get what I need to get together. And negatively, because it just kind of drives me to a state where it kind of I can't think straight. <laughs> Uh, stress affects me in my daily life because it just affects how you think, how you act towards others, just your attitudes in general towards everyone. I can't give the amount of effort I normally can give to school in my extracurriculars because I'm just not able to focus. In class, if I'm real stressed out, it'll be uh, like hard for me to concentrate or solve the math problem or read through a sentence. It affects my, the way some of my friends see me. Like, um, they can tell when I'm stressed out and stuff, and some, some of them get worried about that. It kind of motivates me to, like, study more so that, like, I'll be more prepared, even though it makes me feel like I'm not studying enough because you're stressed about like harder questions on the test. The main causes of my stress are like obviously school. Um, I'm always trying to make sure that my grades are where they need to be. Um, also, I'm on the dance team, so that's very stressful. Um, and then I just started a job, so there's just like a lot of factors in my life and especially a lot of factors in being a teenager that give me tons of stress. <laughs> uh, well, for me personally, I take a lot of pre-AP and AP classes. That's really stressful for me. I think a lot of people could testify to that too. Honestly, just school and managing my grades and making sure that I'm passing all my classes. A million things just start running through my head and then all of a sudden I just can't think of anything. My mind goes blank and I'm not able to think or do anything from then. I'm just kind of like still and I have to force myself to get out of that. It feels like I'm in pain, even though I'm not. It just makes me want to go to sleep and like forget it all. Don't want to deal with it. I try to do something that keeps my mind occupied, like dancing or listening to music. And then when my anxiety gets worse, focusing on my breathing really helps. I listen to music sometimes. I work out and I typically talk with my dad about it. I cope with stress by listening to music, um, talking with like my parents or a counselor or with friends. Uh, personally, I always make a list of everything I have to do, like whenever I get home. I cope with it by sleeping, even though I should be studying. Like our students said, there are many healthy ways to cope with stress, including avoiding caffeine, alcohol, and nicotine, indulging in physical activity, getting more sleep, trying relaxation techniques, talking to someone, keeping a stress diary, taking control, managing your time, learning to say no, and taking a break from work. From Vanguard TV, I'm Annie Lamas. Do you know that one song? Zachary Widener went around LT to see what our trailblazers know. Hi, I'm Zachary Widener from Vanguard TV. We went around the school and asked students to finish the lyric. Let's see how they did. You just want attention. You don't want my heart. That's all I know. Or is it fantasy? Caught in a landslide. Oh. You know what? Just, just. That's Spanish. I don't know Spanish. That's not fair. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> Let it go! Let it go! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now. I've been doing this since 1976 now. 86 now, my bad, okay? <laughs> oh, you had your thrill, better feel it still. Oh, it's 
Mama, can I get another amen? Oh, it's Saturday night. <laughs> She said, do you love me? I told her only partly. I only love my sleeping compartment and my fridge. I'm sorry. That's not right. Can we redo that? Well, now they know. Let it go. Oh. <laughs> Let, Let it go. go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let, Let it go. go. Let it go. Cold never bothered me anyway. <laughs> Here I stand. <laughs> We'll always love you. <laughs> well, now they know. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Softball and baseball have hit home runs this season. Here's Jim Anno with sports. LTHS baseball is strolling through their seasons with so far the gold team having eight wins and four losses and the green team having two wins and 12 losses. So far things have been strolling pretty well for the gold team, but the green team it's all about finishing through. I asked the players and coaches if they had any improvements they would like to make or work on to be a more successful baseball team. We just need to get aggressive early in the count when we're hitting. Our philosophy is pretty simple, get loose, um, whether it's on in the field, at the plate. Hitting in the first couple of innings instead of Hitting later on. We need to have shut down innings and not like fall apart when we have a lead and play with the leads. Well, our goal is to uh, get ourselves ready to compete next year for, for our first varsity season. I mean, I just love it. It's fun. It's lighthearted. I mean, we got to be serious sometimes, but we just have a lot of fun. I mean, it's cool like playing against juniors and seniors and winning because we're all only freshmen and sophomores and all of that. So it's kind of cool just winning. Oh, it's fun when you like get on the field and you see everybody there. It's really exciting. I think uh, for me personally, it's just um, you know getting getting a solid routine and uh, getting these guys into uh, um, good habits on and off the field. Both baseball teams hope to see a strong finish in the future. From the Vanguard TV, I'm Jimeno. History never fails to repeat itself. Zach Bernius has what students in world history are learning about. At Lebanon Trail High School, our history classes have been learning all about World War I and South Asia. In World Geography, students have been learning about South Asia and recently wrote a DBQ, a document-based question over the Syrian Civil War. The World Geography classes will be finishing up their unit and then moving on to their next subject. The Great War, also known as World War I, has started in our history classes. Students have talked about the causes of the war and wrote a DBQ over which cause was the most important. I feel that the students are understanding the content really well in the idea that they are able to effectively articulate the effects of World War I um, and especially the main causes of World War I. So we are currently in the middle of our World War I unit, um, which is our eighth unit of the year. We're in our more modern units, which will impact especially next year in US history when students have to take the STAR test. So we're kind of building that sort of knowledge now so that way they can be better prepared for junior year in US history. In class, students have reenacted the trenches of World War I and talked about the awful conditions in the trenches. Students also talked about the rise of communism in Russia. I think my teaching style is having students pretty involved in the work that they are working on, having lots of classroom discussion, and I feel like that helps students because they're able to get a more hands-on experience with historical events because it can be hard to understand history when we obviously did not live during that time period. Soon the history classes will move on to Unit 9, which involves the bloodiest war yet, World War II. This has been Zach Bernies from the Vanguard TV. Thank you, Trailblazers, for watching. Check out lthsvanguard.com for more featured videos. From the Vanguard TV, I'm Julian Canlas.